Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager of Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk to you about how to create a simple application using our Android SDK. So I've created a small little application here that basically takes in some text. So your first name, company, and your uh, position. And you can see the dialog here. And then I've added two buttons here to be able to preview that text and also then to send the information to the printer. So then we'll take a quicker look at what's needed inside the uh, application. So if we take a look at the um, Android Manifest XML to utilize the internet for printing from the, the app, we added these four lines of code here to have external storage, internet, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth admin. And then we're going to take a look at the actual main activity code and go through what exactly this application does. So if we take a look on the on create, it's basically creating this action that will have those buttons and those text boxes. And then we have the on preview click, which will take the uh, edited information in those text boxes for the full name, company, and position. And then we will convert that into an image and put that onto the image view bitmap. And then on the other side, then we'll get into the actual printer code, which now we're integrating with the Brother SDK. So first thing off, we create a printer by using the printer function, and we create my printer 2 and then we create a printer info. The printer info is the part that allows us to set all the settings of how the printer will actually print this information, alignment, um, whether it shrinks or fits the text into the label. And we can take a look at that and what label printer we're actually printing to. So if we take a look at my printer info, we get the printer info from the machine. And then we're going to set the model. Uh, in this particular case, I'm using a QL720NW printer. And it's hooked up through uh, my hotspot network here. So we set the printer port to uh, net for network. The paper size is set to custom or orientation. We want it to print in landscape mode on the on the uh, label. And then we want it to align in the middle and the center. And the print mode is the original size. So we want to keep the size of the lab of the image that we have on the label as the size that it is. There's also another option in here which is uh, fit size and that will actually shrink the image if it's larger than the label to the actual label size. And then lastly, the number of copies and then the IP address of the machine so that from the application it knows how to send the data to the printer. And then next part, we use the label name index, which is the, um, we get this from the SDK itself. For label info, we use the QL700. And the, we can basically here pick the different label sizes that we're going to use. Today I'm using the DK1202, which is our shipping label. And that is uh, 62 millimeters by 100. And that's where you can kind of see the uh, designation here of the 62 by 100. In here, we get the ordinal part for that and load it into the index there. And then the next part that we do is we're setting our cutting. So is auto cut is set to true. That means that after each label prints, the machine will actually cut the label at the end of that. Uh, there are other options to cut at end. So if we send multiple jobs to it, then if we had that set to true, it would cut at the end of it and not each label by itself. And then basically at that point, then we go through and we actually assign all of the printer information for how we're going to print the label and what label we're using in the um, set printer info. 
and we pass it the my printer info to information that we had just set over here. Then in the next part, we're going to go through and get the text from the text boxes. And then we're going to call our text to bitmap function here, which basically this part job is to actually make a bitmap image so that we can send that to the printer to actually print onto the label. And then that basically goes and returns us back the, the image. And from there, we send that, we call a uh, print to function, which in this particular case, basically creates a, a print thread so that the print operation operates in a separate thread. Uh, it's important to do this so that the, the um, thread is taking care of the, the printer by itself and not affecting the, the application uh, running. So in the thread, we basically then, uh, we get the printer status we start communications, which in this part uh, opens up the connection from the uh, application to the printer so that now it can actually send the print job image down to the printer. Then the next function is to actually call the print image function. We'll, we'll take care of rendering the uh, image file to the print language raster that the printer understands. At that point, then once we're finished, we will end communications and close that connection and then allow it to be opened again uh, if we want to print another uh, label. So what we'll go ahead and do right now is we'll actually run this application by clicking the run button here. So here's our application. It's asking us for the full name. So we'll just type in Product manager. And then we're going to click the print preview, press the preview button, which will actually just show us the little box that I have here of the sample text. And then we will actually then try and click the print button, which will print the label to the printer. And then out comes the same information that we have in the uh, little uh, image viewer box there. And that's, that's it. So now you have a capability of, from the Android application, being able to uh, send the text data as an image to the printer and print out uh, a little name badge label with their information on it. I hope this tutorial helped. If you had any questions or if you want to request a sample application, email the link below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.